So season four has been out for a little over two weeks now and I can definitely say I'm having fun for the most part and that double XP weekend was a nice addition as well. Anyways, recently I've noticed in live streams on Reddit and the comments on my videos and other people's that our Musha has been a topic a lot of people are kind of split up about and it's split in about three ways. People who say he's overpowered, people who say he's balanced, and people who thinks that he's just a little too weak right now. And I've been asked to talk about Aramusha instead of Shaman for once, so today I finally decided to weigh in on where I stand in the discussion. Aramusha is an interesting hero. He has a couple weird properties that sometimes make no sense, and he has the infinite chain which is usually the thing people don't like about him. Honestly, I believe that he's pretty balanced. Uh, sure, there are some things I can tweak, but overall, I don't feel he's too strong at all. He has a couple good tools, but none of them really feel unfair in my opinion. So the infinite chain, as you know, is Aramusha's chain of attacks that alternate between top and side attacks that won't end unless you choose to finish it or it's blocked or parried out of. And I completely understand people's frustration with the chain. It's fast and it doesn't stop unless you block it or just get away from it. Now, of course, the counter to this complaint is that you can just block upwards and it'll stop the chain since it follows a pattern. But that's not entirely true since Aramusha can just use a heavy and switch directions or use a heavy and soft fan out of it, which is kind of the whole point of the infinite chain. Otherwise, it would be too predictable and would be thrown to the side and hardly used like half the other attacks in the game. I think the biggest thing about the infinite chain is how it works against assassins who are forced to use the reflex guard. While I do agree that sometimes it just feels like reflex guard doesn't work, I don't think it's bugged. I think that Reflex Guard just isn't suited to defend against fast attacks because of the small delay between switching guards. Also, there's still that whole time snap thing that we've been talking about for a while now. Other than his infinite chain, he does have a couple other good tools. He has a fast zone attack that can be canceled after the first strike. All of his dashing attacks can be feinted. Uh, he has a pretty decent soft feint and has the fastest guard break in the game. Also, his heavies can't be guard broken out of after 100 milliseconds, which is really nice to have since the only other hero in the game with that ability is Centurion. But that's honestly all he has to his advantage. Blade Blockade is great for fighting aggressive people, but it's really high risk and low reward in my opinion. If your opponent faints in time, you can easily be punished by a guard break or, you know, a fast light attack. He doesn't really have any openers against good defenders and blocking can really shut down most of your attacks. Oddly with the relatively weak heavy, for some reason he doesn't get a guaranteed heavy off a of guard break unless you're near a wall of course. And his throw is pretty weird too, uh, the distance is pretty weak and it only works in 4 directions rather than 8. So he has his pros and he has his cons. His light spam is the only thing that really stands out especially with reflex guards, but I can't call him broken or OP as we've all experienced what broken actually looks like. Aramusha to me is just an average hero who can use a little work and you know have the whole assassin thing addressed by the devs. Anyways, that's all I have to say for this video. As usual, let me know what you think about Aramusha and do you think he's overpowered or do you think people are just overreacting? Let me know down in the comments and I will talk to you guys in the next video.